welcome to microbial concepts so today we are going to discuss a short topic that is what is the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration okay so before starting to this video just a reminder to like my video share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified on each new video that i upload okay so first what is respiration so respiration is a continuous chemical process which provides energy for the fuel of biological processes such as growth of cells muscle contraction protein synthesis sending nerve impulses absorbing molecules from the active transport in the body okay so for all these biological processes we need energy and that is uh, that is what we get from respiration okay so without respiration the survival of organism is not possible now there are two types of respiration that is first aerobic where oxygen is required anaerobic is the other one where oxygen is not required okay so both aerobic and anaerobic respiration they convert the glucose into the energy by using an electron transport chain okay but both types of respiration they have many differences so what are those differences so first aerobic respiration takes place in presence of oxygen and anaerobic in absence of oxygen second point complete oxidation of glucose takes place in aerobic respiration and ox uh, glucose is incompletely oxidized in case of anaerobic respiration in the electron transport chain the final electron acceptor is the oxygen in aerobic and in anaerobic the final electron acceptor is pyruvate or acetaldehyde the end products are co2 and water for aerobic respiration and for anaerobic respiration end products are ethyl alcohol or lactic acid and co2 the large amount of energy is liberated when aerobic respiration is um, used that is or it happens in an organism so that is around 36 to 38 atps are uh, atp is the amount of energy that is liberated and comparatively less energy is liberated in case of anaerobic respiration that is just two atps aerobic respiration occurs in organisms which required oxygen so examples are plants and animals and some bacteria also and anaerobic respiration it occurs in anaerobic anaerobic bacteria and human muscle cells aerobic respiration it occurs in the mitochondria and cytoplasm but in case of anaerobic respiration only it takes place in cytoplasm now if you see we saw that glucose is the um, glucose is one which is completely oxidized in case of oxygen that is aerobic respiration and it is completely oxidized incompletely oxidized in case of anaerobic respiration so glucose is the main component in the uh, respiration okay so by glu uh, glycolysis glucose is converted to pyruvate then further in presence of oxygen it will go to mitochondria for oxidative phosphorylation and energy is liberated in case of anaerobic respiration where no oxygen is required it will enter to the fermentation stage okay so that is the anaerobic respiration uh, pathway and this is the aerobic respiration pathway okay so you can see the chemical equation is like glucose plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide water and energy and glucose in case of anaerobic respiration it gives ethanol and carbon dioxide so you can see glucose it it uh, follows the glycolysis and then it enters the fermentation where lactate or lactic acid ethanol and co2 are liberated or given out and in case of aerobic respiration glycolysis to krebs cycle and electron transport chain is the cycle or the pathway that the glucose follows and it gives out uh, 38 atps co2 and water okay so atps is what the energy that is liberated or given out so this was about difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration 
so thank you for watching do like my videos share my videos and do subscribe to my channel thank you